Hello and welcome to another Jack Welding Specialist video. I'm Fergus um, and this episode I'm just going to show you something um, from a, another firm. They do under sealing um, and I just wanted to show you, you know, what, what they've done. So they've under sealed this car, they've done a great job, um, but there's just, just a few things that are just, yeah, not quite what I'd expect. So if I turn the camera around, um, then, so they've cleaned all this corrosion off and just you know put the the under sealer in you know it's, it's you know it's not a right job you know there's there's a, a fair amount of coating on it but then they've come and put the original um these splash guards in and they've just tech screwed them back in with these and the funny thing is the original clips are still in there look one two uh, yeah there were a few more there but it's just like, and it's not a cheap process. This this process is probably a, you know an eleven hundred pound job of of doing under sealing, um, and you know for that I, you know some people don't know what they're getting, but it's just take a little bit more care in some things, and also, um, so I've just stuck on these wheel arch trims because I'd had to do a little bit of welding for this. Um, like a little patch there, a little one on the other side, a corner of this, and some bits at the front. Um, and they quoted a week this company that had done the under sealing, um, and it managed. I managed to do it in two or three days. Um, God knows what they quoted in price to do that welding, um, but I'd removed all of these wheel arch trims um, and also the fixings because the fixings in here were all. These were all snapped off or were going to. So I removed these in order for them to then underseal all inside of here. Um, as I had anticipated, you know, they're trying to do it as quick as possible, which is fair enough, they want to make money. Um, but even when I took these off, they still didn't really put a great deal of, of stuff in there. Um, and then, so I've just come around and I've just added a load of new fixings in here because they just, I understand it's not their profession, you know, exactly, but yeah, you know, they just shoved it in with a couple of like, you know, tech screws like this. And okay, it's holding it in, but it doesn't really, you know, this company's supposed to be the best of the best, um, or, you know, a really good company to go to. Um, I'll just show the camera a minute. And like in there, there's just a couple of areas that are just completely missed. For, you know, for the price that has been paid, you know, those are the bits that are really good. But then, you know, for the price that's been paid, it doesn't take a little, it doesn't take a lot of effort to, you know, remove the bumper just a little bit um, and go underneath it. Um, and then look, so where they've taken, they've cleaned all the loose stuff off and, you know, they've got all the good under sealer is still there, which is fine. Um, but even just, you know, layering it back up so it's, you know, a similar height to this original undersealer, um, you know, it just makes it just that little bit better. Um, I, I don't really like, um, you know, commenting like this because you know, I'm, I'm not an undersealer, but, you know, I can do undersealing, but... Um, you know, for the job that's been done and the money that's potentially been paid, it's there's a few areas that could just be a little bit, just a little bit better. Um, you know, because I've got this job now and I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking, well, what what value has he got from it? He's paid all this money. Um, I'm not going to go and shout and scream at them or say anything like that because it's not worth it. But um, it's just a bit bizarre, really. Um, but anyway, it's a good job. They've done the job that they, you know, had asked for, had, had you know, meant to do. Um, I've just cleaned all these wheel arches off um, and the mud guards and reattached all of these. Um, done a little bit of paint touch up down here, uh, where so I'd had to weld a couple of little sections on the insides of the, the front wings um, around here, sort of thing. Um, and now I'm just attaching it back on. Um, you can see here where someone's 
I don't know whether they've tried to polish it or what, or someone's like masked it and then cut with the blade all the way down there. So I'm not sure really. So yeah, I'm just finishing putting these trims up. Um, and I've just got one headlight surround to, to go in here, which is this side in here. Um, and that's about ready for it to go. This is a really cool truck. This is a, a 2001 Jeep Cherokee. Um, it's got 40,000 miles on it. Um, and just really, really original. Um, there's not much really that's been um, messed about with. Um, so yeah, just a really cool truck. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with some of you. Um, just when you're going to get something under sealed, um, ask them questions and get to know the person that's actually going to be spraying the, the product, not just the person um, behind the till. Um, because the person behind the till is the one that's selling you the product. Um, and you really want to, you know, you just want to know what they're doing to your truck. Like, like if you went to the hospital, you want to know what they're doing to your body and what they're putting in it. Um, so that, you know, you, um, you're just aware. But anyway, no, it's a fair job. A few little bits that could be better, but other than that, it's all right. Um, but yeah, just for, for people's reference and just, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, hope to see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye